everybody, it's Jess here with Bless Jess. Thank you for watching. Today is April 4th. This is Tuesday. This is my first day of tracking on camera what I'm doing on Weight Watchers. <laughs> I am loving it. This is actually day three for Weight Watchers um, for me. I'm loving it, you guys. Thank you all for the bottom of my heart for all of your support on my last video explaining um, my new plan and why I switched to Weight Watchers. All my calorie calories. All my calorie counting girls out there, I still want to include some calories. Um, <laughs> hi. Um, so don't worry. I'm going to try as best I can to also tell you the calories on things um, when I can. And, you know, Weight Watchers and calorie counting are very, very, very similar. And it's just about finding balance. So um, thank you, though, for all of your support, all of your kind words. I mean, you blew it up. I was like in tears last night because I was really nervous about posting that video. And, you know, like that's silly. Like I shouldn't be worried about it because you guys are always so, so awesome. So thank you. This is spring break for us. Day two of spring break. Um, the kids are getting a little stir crazy. So it's almost 10 o'clock. I'm just now making myself breakfast. I'm doing laundry. I need to get some housework done because we're going out of town in a couple of days. And um, uh, this is the worst timing ever. Oh, she just ran into her door jam. You okay? Oh, did you hurt your arm? Your face? Oh. Say, oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Can I kiss it? No. Okay. Just sit here with mommy while I talk. So, uh, this is the worst time ever, but Nate's Kindle, which you guys know, he has autism. And um, his Kindle is more than just a toy. It is a tool for him. It is, um, you know, it is peace for him sometimes when he's having a meltdown. Or um, if he gets overwhelmed, he can play his Kindle. He uses it, um, especially, this is maybe TMI, when he needs to go to the bathroom to kind of distract him because he's really grossed out about that. Um, anyway, he has this Amazon Kids Kindle and it's still under warranty and everything. So it's gonna get resolved, but it's messing up on us and it's causing him a lot of stress and me a lot of stress. So we called them and they're gonna have, they're gonna make us send it in to them and um, we're gonna be without that. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's gonna be a challenging week, I think, but he's doing really good. He has other toys he plays with and I'm, you know, just trying to encourage him, but I feel bad because it's spring break and I just don't want him to change routine too much, you know, but. We're going to think of something fun. I might end up taking them in a little while to McDonald's. <laughs> I hope you can understand. I don't want to say it too loud. And get a happy meal and let them play. Um, I will not be eating anything at McDonald's. Not that you can't. You totally can eat at McDonald's on Weight Watchers or counting calories. But it just doesn't sound good. And I don't want to waste the points on it, honestly. So I want, I want some of those egg rolls I bought last night. So I'll probably eat this and then have them have an early lunch and then eat it later when I get home so that's the plan but it's such a beautiful day outside and I can't remember if our McDonald's has a play place this one right here because we've never actually gone inside of it that's so funny <laughs> we normally if we're gonna go to a play place we go to Chick-fil-a but um they had Chick-fil-a the other day so and it's a little bit further but the McDonald's just said it loud but they didn't hear me um, it, I can't remember if they have a play place and I don't think it's inside. I think if they do, it's outside. So I don't know how that's going to work, but even if we just go and eat and then, you know, go to the park, we have like a little playground in our apartment building. So I might do that, but they just got to get some energy. They got to get their wiggles out, you know? So we're having a great time. Spring break. Nate slept till 730. Hallelujah. And Lucy slept till 845. It was awesome. <laughs> So that was awesome and uh, we're just kind of getting a late start on the day. So for breakfast, I'm having a very low point breakfast, but this is just what sounded good. So I had a cup of coffee and I figured out a way to make delicious zero point coffee. So what I do is I take one tablespoon of the Coffee Mate sugar-free Italian sweet cream. I really like that one. You guys know I love my International Delight, but it's higher in points because it has a little more fat. I didn't realize that. It's only 20 calories a tablespoon, as opposed to this is only 15 a tablespoon. But the points are a lot higher because of the fat in it. So um, I switched to the Coffee Mate sugar-free. One 
tablespoon is zero smart points. So I just put one tablespoon in my coffee and a little splash of almond milk and my Truvia. It's delicious. It's delicious. And it's zero. Now, I wouldn't, because the, the coffee mate is one tablespoon is zero, I wouldn't have like two or three at a time, like two or three cups of coffee and still count it as zero because those tablespoons would add up. But one and, you know, one where it's zero is perfect. And then for breakfast, this isn't looking as bright green because I added a mix that had blueberries. This is a smoothie in my new smoothie maker, that a blender smoothie thing that I got. So this is a cup of almond milk, that's one smart point. A handful of the cherry berry mix, and it's like strawberries, blueberries, and cherries. I have just a handful of those. A frozen banana, and a ton of spinach. Now, I know what you are probably thinking, if you're on Weight Watchers, don't you have to count frozen, like blended, blended fruit? And um, it's very controversial. Everyone I watch, as long as they eat it, and they're not putting like five bananas and all like if it's is if it's as much fruit as you would just sit down and eat if it's not like completely loaded down with fruit um they don't count it so that's what i'm gonna do i'm not gonna like have like five of these a day and not count it but one with one banana and a handful of berries i don't think that's that bad so i'm not counting the fruit in there obviously the spinach is no count and the almond milk is just one point so i'm having a one point breakfast that's insane but I want to have a good size lunch, a good size dinner, and then a couple of snacks. So that's awesome. Anyway, I'm just rambling on here. I've got a lot to do. I have a slight headache. The allergies are really getting to me here in Georgia. But thank you so much also for your sweet comments about Nate. You have no idea how thankful we are. I mean, I'm sure you do have an idea. Um, just keep praying. We go to the dermatologist on Thursday. And um, I'm just praying that it's not even, you know, actually the spots on him are getting a lot lighter. I read that um, Benadryl helps because of it's, it blocks the histamine and a histamine is a part of the reaction. Even though it doesn't cure it, it's not like an allergic reaction that it cures it, but it does, it, do, it can lessen the, the outbreak. It's really crazy. So... Um, I've been putting Benadryl cream on him because he kind of has weird reactions with Benadryl. He kind of gets sped up. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. Um, especially when he was little, he would get so crazy after he took Benadryl. So I don't really want to give him Benadryl, but I've been putting the Benadryl cream on and it does help with the itching. This condition also can make you really itchy. Um, Nate, that's just water, bud. And so it's it's lightning so i'm just really praying when we go to the dermatologist she's able to know exactly what it is what she thought it was and give us some really good tools and um, i'm just praying that he's not gonna the thing with if he has the conditions she thinks he has it's something that he's gonna have to deal with until he hits puberty because it's like a buildup of it's a buildup of how she explained it it's like a buildup of mast cells in the his body can't process them and so it comes out on these spots i'm probably saying it completely wrong um it's not harmful but it's just irritating and um it, once he gets older his body's able to process it better and um anyway i'm just praying that he's not gonna have to deal with that he's gonna have to deal with these itchy little spots on him for the next what 10 10 years you know so um in the name of jesus so thank you all for praying keep praying for us but i mean thinking your child could have leukemia or some kind of platelet disorder is the most terrifying thing as a parent I've ever been through. So thank you for all your sweet words. I'm going to let you guys go because I've been talking your ear off. You can tell I've been missing vlogging to you guys. So I'm going to drink my yummy, yummy smoothie and uh, we're going to get moving on this day. So I'll show you lunch when I have it. Bye. Hey y'all. So it is 1230. That smoothie held me over really well. I went to a McDonald's with the kids and then we played at the park. It is so hot. Um, so we're back home cooling off. They already ate, obviously. I made the most delicious looking plate of Chinese food that is actually on point, you guys. This is only 10 points for the whole thing. So, um, get a good look, and I'm going to tell you how I did it. Look at all that rice. So, most of that is this stuff. Green Giant cauliflower, cauliflower crumbles fried rice. I know you probably hear like the dryer in the background and <laughs> the kids TV in the background, it's spring break. So I took this 
and I put it in a skillet and I just softened it in a little bit of cooking spray, just a little squirt of that. And um, I put some garlic powder and pepper with it, cooked it up. I made this, the Uncle Ben's brown rice. I used half of this as five points. I mixed all of that together. I put a couple of sprays of the zero point butter spray and a few sprays of the liquid aminos. It tastes just like soy sauce and smells just like soy sauce. So that's zero. And then I took about an eighth of a cup of egg beaters and scrambled that up and that's zero smart points. So for that whole thing of rice, it's probably two or two and a half cups. Most of it's the cauliflower, but some of it's actual brown rice. Five points for that with the eggs and everything. And then I have two of the Vans, I think they're called. Egg rolls, the low-fat shrimp ones. I'm going to try them. Five points for two. So this huge lunch is only ten smart points. I'm going to enjoy it. I'm hungry now. Um, when I went to McDonald's, I asked for a large ice water. I drank about half of it, and then I added some more water and put some cherry Jolly Rancher water in the answer for zero. It's really good. It's really good. It's just like the cherry Jolly Rancher. So I'm going to eat this. It's going to be nap time for the kiddos, and I'm still doing laundry and trying to get regrouped, so I'll see you guys back later. Hey guys, so Bye. this is my little snack. It's 3.35. First of all, I have a Starbucks iced coffee from the refrigerated section at Walmart. I watered it down about half and half water, half iced coffee. I put a half a cup of almond milk unsweetened for one, I mean for zero points for half a cup. And then I put a little teeny, teeny, tiny splash of this stuff in there. Um, it's not focusing on me, but this is it. There it is. Mio Energy. I smoke a java. I just put a tiny little squirt. That's zero. And then this is my delicious looking snack. I have a bunch of these little uh, sweet peppers. Red, orange, and yellow for zero. I have a cutie for zero. I have a baby bell mozzarella cheese for two points. And then I have an ounce of these enlightened broad bean things. Holy cow, those are delicious. So... I just ate a teeny tiny one, but it's 28 grams. I took one, is why it's saying 27. Oops, going back and forth. But anyway, I ate a little tiny one. Um, they're delicious. They are so good. So two points for that, two points for that. Everything else is zero. I'm having a delicious four-point snack, and I'll see you back at dinner, everybody. So this is what I'm having for dinner. This is a taco salad. Um, it looked so good when Kate made this over on our fat release, so I made this too, and it looks really good. This whole huge salad, you can see how big it is, is 16 smart points. So I have an ounce of Doritos. That's four smart points. I have 60 grams of avocado for three smart points, four smart points worth of cheese, one smart point of sour cream. It's 16 grams of sour cream. Regular sour cream is one point. I'm sorry for the noise in the background. Um, four ounces of lean ground beef for th four or three, three smart points. No, I need to check. I think it's three ounces is... Three smart points. I'll check. Anyway, the whole thing is 14. So, anyway, Nate's reading the book. Ola. <laughs> Soy. Soy. Okay. Bye, guys. So, it's the end of the night. I just got back from Walmart getting some batteries for Nate's leap start because his Kindle's being shipped off tomorrow. Sad day. <laughs> He's been so upset today about it. I just feel so bad for him. Now, we're kind of. I don't know. We will have fun later on in the week, but this beginning part is just kind of uh, trying to do stuff that's fun, but I also have a lot of house stuff to do. So, anyway, Lucy, can you shut that door for mommy? I want to go to that timeout. You need to go to timeout? Okay. Here comes Nate. I come in the bedroom because it's quiet. It's not quiet anymore. Um, so, Nate's being good. He's doing good. Um, anyway. <laughs> He has to be in mommy's room. Thank you for all the prayers for my buddy. He's doing really good. So, um, that dinner was so filling and so delicious. It's like one of my new favorite things. I make taco salad all the time, but the way like the Doritos, but it was so good. It was so filling. It was 16 points and um, I have tracked a snack 
I keep bringing that to mommy. That's an outlet plug. I'm sorry, y'all. This is so distracting. Okay, I'll, I'll get it in a second. Um, I tracked a chocolate um, rice cake for two points. I don't know if I'll eat that, but I just went ahead and tracked it because I have the points. So chocolate rice cake with one tablespoon of Jif Whips. <laughs> The Jif Whips for one tablespoon is two points, I believe. So that's a four-point snack, which is going to bring me to a total of 35 smart points out of 37 that I'm allowed to have. So I am totally full and stuffed today, and I love smart points. I love counting my smart points. So, um, I don't think I said, but I have 37 smart points today and 42 weekly. So my week starts over on... I set it to start over on Wednesdays because that's my weigh-in day. So, um, I only have used two in the last, what I say, it's my third day. And one of those was because, or two of those is because uh, we went out like twice on Sunday. So, anyway, it's going really well. Like I said, I'm not sure if I'll have that snack, but I might. So, I went ahead and tra tracked it. But if we had a great day, tomorrow is Wednesday. It's supposed to be really bad weather coming through and all of that so hopefully that'll get all out of the way before Thursday and we have to travel so I hope you guys enjoyed watching I'm gonna go get this giggle box to bed <laughs> and that little stinker to bed so if you enjoyed watching make sure you give this video a big thumbs up leave a comment down below please subscribe if you're new see you guys all tomorrow Bye.